Who's that Pokemon? If it doesn't break a dollar. Wow. Wow. What's up, guys? And oh, welcome back to another epic versus. And in this versus, we have finally some Pokemon action. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute since we have some Pokemon here in this channel. Speaking of hot, it's crazy hot out there. It's probably over 100 degrees Fahrenheit over here. But uh, yeah, I'm dealing with it. And of course, we're going to deal with it inside this hotness of a versus. Hopefully. But we, of course, have the Temporal Forces, which, of course, was given to us by a viewer like yourself. Obviously, thank you so much. If you guys want to send anything for me to unbox in a future video, I do have my P.O. Box address in the description. Another one that was sent to me was Twilight Masquerade. So thank you again. Shout out to you. Of course, I'll put you in the comments for the shout out. But uh, yes, thank you again. Uh, we will definitely see who indeed is the better of these two. Now, granted, we opened quite a few of these. I'd still like to continue the Pokemon legacy, if you will, or at least unbox some things. Uh, even though I'm not a curious in terms of like collecting uh, Pokemon, but I still enjoy some aspects of Pokemon, like the uh, Paldean Face, for example. Now, this is the fifth and sixth set. We'll talk about some of the high value pulls in a moment, but we opened quite a few boxes already. You know, Paradox, Riff, we had the uh, uh, Scarlet and Violet 151, which was actually pretty epic. Um, the City of Flames, uh, Paldean Evolve, and of course, the base sets. So we we did quite a few of these. Obviously, we have a playlist of that because we'll check out any of the previous Pokemon unboxings. But enough of that and self-promotion. Let's talk a little bit about Temporal Forces first. Oh yes, this is the fifth box or fix, I guess the fifth expansion pack of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet series. Now, according to here, we have the return of the Ace spec, whatever that means. But it's basically these purple cards, like uh, purple, pink, I guess more more pink than anything. Uh, they're, they're making a return. I guess it was part of the black and white um, uh, boundary cross expansion. So now we're bringing that back here. Uh, obviously, we have some more Paradox Pokemon hitting the scene. Uh, a lot of these are, of course, a lot of the future and ancient Pokemon. Uh, we have some more illustration rares. Uh, the Gassy looks pretty beastly. And of course, the Cordon Mirandon? Yeah, Mi Miradon. Yeah, whatever that word is. Yeah, those two, the, 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 I guess the uh, legendary Pokemon of Scarlet and Violet. Some of the high value pulls from Temporal Fates. Sorry, <laughs> Temporal Fates. <laughs> totally wrong set. The Temporal Forces. Uh, the number one is, of course, the, the Raging Bolt EX card. That's currently at the price of $87.40. The second highest is the Iron Crown EX. Uh, these, of course, the spe special illustration rares. Uh, this one is $82.09. And the third highest being the wake, the walking wake EX uh, at forty nine dollars and seventy nine cents. You probably noticed some of the, the the designs are pretty similar to what we have from the was, was it the legendary dogs? Yeah, they pretty much did a reprint of those in the ancient form, ancient and future forms, as you say. So yeah, I'm so I'm very excited to see those. Now, in terms of Twilight Masquerade, a little bit about it, real quick. Obviously, there's going to be some new Pokemon from the land of the Kitakami. For those that played the, the I guess the uh, the expansion packs or the expansion of the uh, Scarlet Violet video game, this is from the Tier Mass, I believe, to some degree. We have, very, we have a very cute picture here of Parent Full Art, so that's might be my chase card for this set, and of course more ancient and future Pokemon. The Carmine is actually a pretty cool card too as well. That one actually might be my chase card. That's an adorable card, especially the full uh, illustration. I love full illustrations. Now it's kind of funny because those are actually my, my, uh, part of the top three, but in terms of those top three high value pulls from Twilight Masquerade, we have of course number one at Greninja EX at $139.26. And of course, Carmine, as I mentioned earlier, very nice card to have, and hopefully get it, Special Illustration Rare, at $103.29 currently. And number three is Perrin. Perrin? Perrin? I don't know, per it might, might be French, I don't know. <laughs> at $76.33. But yeah, guys, very, very excited to see who entails will be the best of these two sets. Now, this might, this is actually a pretty balanced versus, I think. Um, in terms of like, you know, types of cards in it. And of course, since e these are uh, booster bundles, they're, they're six packs, six packs. So we'll see how these go. But place your votes right now. 
So who would win? In terms of the point systems in this, if you guys recall, if it breaks the $1 mark, that is one point. If it breaks the $5 mark, that is two points. $10 will be three points. $20 will be four points. It breaks the $50 mark, that is five points. And it breaks the coveted six pointer, that is of course $800 plus. Who will actually get that? There's only a, a few cars that do break $100 and it's mostly from the Toilet Masquerade. So hopefully, press your like for luck. Let's do the stay. All right, guys, so we're gonna go and open up both of these and see, so we'll open up this real quick. Where's my handy dandy scissors? And guys, don't play with scissors. You might cut yourself like I did many, many years ago. All right, so this is the first box. We'll, check, we'll just check out the little box real quick. Obviously it features those, I guess, newish legendary dogs, but now they're the ancient slash future forms. So yeah. So Fujin endured, apparently. It says here, the ranks of ancients and future Pokemon continue to grow. Uh, waking, walking wake and EX breaks free of the past alongside Raging Bolt EX. While Iron Leaves EX delivers high tech justice with Iron Crown EX. So very, very exciting. All right, anyway, look at this. Oh yeah. Six packs to six pack. And again, thank you again for sending me these. Uh, this is actually amazing. So a big shout out to you for sending me this. All right, let's check out some of the, the pack arts here. Obviously we have the uh, the ancient, it, it, I wanna say it's Suicin? I think it's the, the ancient dog. Um, I don't remember this one. Obviously I haven't caught up with much of the um, later Pokemon games or uh, Pokemon uh, games or whatnot. Obviously there's another one of the uh, dogs and then another one of those another one of those and this one. So yeah All right, so we got pretty much I think all of the pack arts for this All right, without further ado and enough rambling. Let's get into temple forces uh, I'm so used to put, putting my fan, fan finger here because that's where the the sleeve is for Yu-Gi-Oh But it's actually on the opposite end So it feels a little awkward. It feels a little awkward. And I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it Too much change, too much change. All right, code for you guys. Check that out. The online TCG. All right, I think it's only one to the front, if I recall. All right, starting with the grass, basic energy. We have a uh, sizzle pea. Uh, we have Mer uh, Meryl. I thought he was a water type, but I guess he's now psychic in this. Golette, um, El Green, El Grain, something like that. The Full Metal Lab, the Golert, the Shaman, Shaman maybe, the Mel Metal, uh, Reverse Hollow, Reverse Hollow of the uh, Re Unicel, something like that, and the Mel Metal, um, I guess Hollow. So probably not high value, but we'll check out that price. This is a versus after all, so points do matter now. So as expected, not much. This is only 11 cents. So no points, no points. And of course, um, I had a few comments about like, hey, I, I hate when you do handicaps. I hate when you do handicaps. There's only, a, there's a few people that mention it. So no handicaps at all for this, no matter what I say. All right, let's open up the, the Twilight Masquerade. So in terms of uh, Temporal Forces, this one actually came out back in March, I believe, March 24th. Uh, when it comes to release dates, uh, Temporal Forces actually came out back in March 22nd. Uh, so it was quite a while ago, quite a while ago. Now in terms of this set right here that we're opening up, Twilight Masquerade is what actually came out. Uh, looks like it was in May. Yeah, May 24th of this year. So pretty recent, pretty recent. Um, then again, it's June when I'm recording this, so not that recent, I guess. I, mean, I think a new set's coming out, I want to say next month, in July, I think. I think the next one's in July. Alright, so this is the box for Twilight Masquerade. Um, so we have some, I guess, terrestrialized Pokemon here. I don't really recognize any of these guys, I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I don't really recognize any of these. <laughs> 
I'm not really the Pokemon master. I just like opening the cards because it might be worth something in the future. All right, some of the pack arts here. Obviously, we saw this already from the from the beginning or from the front of the booster box. But yeah, I've, I've always enjoyed the, the, the pack arts from uh, Pokemon because uh, unlike Yu-Gi-Oh, there, there is no pack designs and or pack arts. Sometimes they do, you know, like like Ghost in the Past, for example, they have multiple pack designs. But on average, usually there's only one pack uh, monster, which doesn't make sense to me because like, you know, if you're going to have like multiple cards, might as well like, uh, you know, uh, try to do something different with it, you know? Because um, I'm sure there's a lot you can actually uh, showcase in, uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh. But anyway, we have the Steel Energy. The, the gr Grimmit? Grimmit! Twaggy! The um, Heliolis. The Ducklet. Very, very cute design. And the one thing I really like about um, Pokemon is the fact that he actually lists who the artist is in the very bottom, I think. What do they have right there? He lists who the artist is, so much respect to that. I think Pokemon should have that too, but... Uh, or sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh should have that too, but they don't. Community Center. We have the Reverse Hollow, very nice. Of the scroll, uh, Scolopi, The Forlet, Foret. And a hollow of the Mukendori. Okay. So nothing good from either side so far. All right, number 95. This one is 46 cents. So no points still from either side, which I guess we'll see. Might come down to one or two cards possibly. All right, before we actually get into the rest of these, today's video is of course sponsored by our boys. Yes, they are back. And now these are the sleeves that I use for my Pokemon cards. It fits perfectly around it. So if you guys wanna take a, a mark at it, you can. Obviously it's matte clear because I do enjoy like actually seeing the front and rear of the card. Some people don't really care about the rear, but I know I do, especially as a collector. I wanna protect my cards, protect my investment as you should with these cards. And uh, seeing both ends, you know, you can t you can tell the grading of it just by the look of it, and maintaining that luster that, of course, PSA and probably Beckin also enjoys as well. But yes, definitely check out my fill link down below. It does help support the show, getting videos like this every single week, whether it's Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. I might even do some other CGs. You never know. You never know. But anyway, I love you guys, and of course, back to the unboxing. Link to down below. All right, back to reality. We have the Temeralt Forces. All right, let's do this thing. I'm so used to like doing this with, with Yu-Gi-Oh. These are, I don't know, like, because I, I'm not, I don't open the Pokemon cards that often, they're like kind of hard to open sometimes. I'm like, geez. But I guess it makes, it maybe it, it protects, the, maybe they're more protected, I don't know. Compared to like Yu-Gi-Oh or something, I don't know. Anyway, cool for you guys. Enjoy. Let me know what you got. What you guys get in, in the comments of what uh, you know, what cards you get from that uh, TCG code. All right, we got water. Water. We have the Carcal, the Grotel, the uh, Finnison, the Bronzel. Ooh. Okay. This is uh, one of the uh, I guess the future cards. Looks very very cool. Very digital. I like it. Futuristic. <laughs> It's the Future Booster Energy Capsule. All right, you can tell, of course, by the future icon there. Now, oh, uh, ancient card, we have the Great Tusk, non-hollow. I thought these are holographic, but I guess not. Um, we have the Delcati, the Twerk Wick, reverse hollow, reverse hollow of the Solasis, and a, uh, a hollow of the Fur. Fer feral Gator? Feral, ga feral Gator? Something like that? Uh, this is actually, I think, Gen 2, if, if I recall. Yeah. All right. Not looking good, but it's only uh, 14 cents. So still no points from either side of the board. What is going on, Pokemon? Have you lost your luster? Does no one care about these two sets? I don't know. Let me know. I, that's the one thing I will say. Like, I, I feel like with... Um, 
I feel like with Sword and Shield, like uh, th there was a lot more, I guess, hype for it. But I don't know, may maybe uh, people are not really uh, like liking the Scarlet and Violet TCGs. Um, I mean, there's mixed comments about the, um, the anime series. I've been watching it myself. I've been enjoying it for the most part. For those that have been watching the, uh, the Scarlet and Violet on the, uh, the uh, anime and um, I, th I think it was Netflix. And uh, for the most part, I I'm enjoying that. So, I don't know, but I, I guess you, you guys let me know if you guys are... I saw something there. I saw something there. Unless that was just another hollow. But anyway, we have the... Uh, what is it called? The uh, Psychic Energy. The Whirly pe Petal. Sorry, the Whirly pe Pet. The craw craw doll, The Forfetch. Very nice. The tor Torkoal. The bug catching set. Uh, the ambi ambi palm. The argon. Or whatever. <laughs> the vol beat. Reverse hollow. Fabe bay reverse hollow and oh, it's only hollow. Infer infernape. Infernape infernape something like that I guess. Infer infernape. Yeah, I'm sure I pronounced it perfectly. Somebody will correct me in the comments, right? You definitely, don't, you definitely don't come to this channel for pronunciations. You definitely don't. All right. Wow, this is one of the worst cards so far at only five cents. So no points either side, either side. Back to Temporal Forces. We only got like four cards uh, per right now. So it literally might come down to like one or two cards as I mentioned. for you guys very nice enjoy one to the front and we have fire it's a good sign for me because fire is life we have the uh, cutie fly the drill burr the reeler reeler bueller reeler ponita i know i pronounced that we have the lichen rock Ooh, uh salvatore Sal Sal Salvatore, yeah, Tori, maybe. Um, Palafin. Oh, we have a verse hollow of the cat, the Tora cat, second evolution. Very, very cute. And we have the uh, Linen, so also um, from the starter as well. And another hollow, but this one is the Iron v Valiant Future. Maybe it might work for, it might be worth points, we'll see. It does not. It is only 15 cents. 15 times the disappointments. All right, Twilight Masquerade. Can we get something? Can we get something? It'd be kind of funny if it ends in a tie and nobody gets points. I mean, it's a possibility. Like, you know, it was going to be an edible because like I, I do a lot of these verses sometimes twice a month. I try not to do it so often uh, because it is difficult to maintain and, you know, get the packs and all that jazz. But, um, you know, it's possible that it can end in a tie. Because I don't have any more packs after this, so if it does end in a tie, it ends in a tie. So cool for you guys. All right, we got the uh, fighting energy. We have Jinx. Interesting design there. Creative design. We have the Foret. The Sunken, Sunkern. The Abra, ooh. Abra's always been like a, a personal favorite of mine. Well, obviously, Abra series like Adabra and Alakazam. Those were always my favorite back in the day. The Kilowattril. The uh, Galay. Galai. Okay. We have the Org Mass. Hopefully, uh, it clears itself. The Venom P. We have the Reverse Hollow of Okie Doki. <laughs> wow. And. Hey, a full art and it looks blurry as hell. Why can't I focus correctly? Okay, there it is. Full art Hansel. What a handsome fellow. All right. I forgot what voice I, I, I use for it because obviously in my Pokemon TCG game, or sorry, my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet series in my gaming channel, I have like, I, I, I put voices around my, these characters. And I want to say it was like more of like a monotone voice, but uh, yeah. This actually might be points for Twilight Masquerade. Double Platinum Star, apparently. Whatever that means. 205, I think that's a secret rare. Yeah, it's a secret. 
205. Not as high as I thought, but it's still points worthy at $1.31. So that is our first point of the game. <laughs> and it had to be Hansel. Twilight Masquerade with the first point. So now one to zero. Wow. Wow. All right. Going with the Timber Forces. Let's see if we can uh, do something amazing here. All right. All right, code for you guys. Enjoy. All right, we have Darkness Energy. We have the Chattel. The, the Cotton E, Cotton E. The car, the Carvana, the Carvana. The Ekans, Ekans. Ooh, we have another uh, ancient here. The Scream Tail, which of course is uh, looks just like what it is, a like Jigglypuff ish. We have the Heavy Baton, an Iron Valiant Future. We have the Reverse Hollow of a uh, Drill Bird, and Scyther, Reverse Hollow, and a Hollow of the, I guess, Bra Bramble Gas, I guess. All right, this one is only uh, 12 cents, so no points. Still maintaining the lead, firm lead of one to nothing. All right, Twilight Masquerade, let's do this thing. I, I, I hate opening Pokemon cards sometimes. Why it's so hard? I, 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 I must not know the technique or something. I must not know the technique. To like open up these like quickly. Cause some people can open these like really, really fast. All right. Go for you guys. Enjoy. All right, one to the front. All right, we got the fire energy. Oh, I, I just noticed that. Like, what is that? It's kind of weird. I thought somebody like wrote on it. I was like, but yeah, you put like a weird line on it. We have the Abra, uh, the Snorunt, the Chim Chimicho. We have the Chimchar, the Hansel, but of course the uh, regular car card, I guess. Polyrath, throw back there. Scorly P, Scorly Pie. A verse hollow of the driplet, verse hollow of the slugma, and it looks like we got a first EX card here. This is the cornerstone mask, uh, or the pawn EX, I guess. Their, their, their name is starting to be as long as Yu Gi Oh! now. What the hell? All right, not much, not much, but it's close to a dollar, but no, no moss. It's only 72 cents for this. Looks cool, but definitely not points worthy. Still maintains the lead though, but we're down to our two packs per set. And still only a one point lead. What the G's guys. All right. All right, for you guys, enjoy. One to the front. All right, start my grass. We have the Arbuck, Arbuck, the CD, CD, C dot, the Totodile, Gen 2, the Deerling, the Shaman, Shaman, Sh Sh Shaman, the Fortress, Fort Fortress, I guess, the Vika Rot, Vika Volt. We have, ooh, kind of looks like a shine almost, but it looks, it actually looks kind of cool on the white. Uh, the drag dragpa. What's funny about this Pokemon? I, I want to put up a picture of like one of the uh, the characters in uh, Scarlet and Violet, but people were comparing this Pokemon to that Grandpa character. The D dot C dot Reverse Solo, and ooh, we get our first full art finally. I think. Well, actually, this might be from what set is this from? I think this is actually yeah. This is from uh um. Temporal Forces, so it actually might be some points for Temporal Forces. All right, the Torterra EX card, full art. And if it doesn't break a dollar, wow, wow. All right, it does indeed break a dollar at an even two bucks, two dollars, guys. 
So that is only one point. So we are actually tied, guys. We're actually tied. That's what I'm saying. This actually might end in tie. Quite potential. Quite potential. All right, here we go, guys. Back to Twilight Masquerade. Was there any cards you guys were expecting from this? Let, let me know, or like your chase cards. Definitely let me know. I would imagine it'd be one of those like full arts I mentioned. But uh, yeah, especially from a uh, Twilight Masquerade, they have some pretty good uh, full arts. All right, we got the basic energy of water. Uh, Imogal, Imogal, Growlithe. This is the uh, should be the ancient one, but or no, no, it's the it's a Scarlet and Violet version of the whatever how you pronounce that word whatever that is but yeah but uh, we have the uh monferno monferno the nose boss uh what is it called uh faragira whatever <laughs> obviously if you if you reverse that it's going to spell out the same thing you probably already knew that of course we have an ancient here of the Brute Bonnet. Who's that supposed to be though? I don't know. En Enhanced Hammer. Ooh, reverse Hall. This actually looks really good. I, I, I like this look. Uh, of the Heliopi type, wherever. And the Glaceon Reverse Hollow. Oh, sorry, it's one more card. And uh, Frost set, set, whatever. Frost. Frost la last, Frost last. For some reason, I thought that was an eye. I don't know why. But yeah, Frost last. Only hollow though. Probably not much points. Or any points. Yep, as expected, this is only uh, 23 cents. But at the very least, I I'm glad I did open up these because, um, you know, it's always, it's always fun opening uh, uh, Pokemon Yu Gi Oh cards. Um, so, regardless if you get major points or not, because there's some like high point games in some of my verses. And this is one of the this is one of those like times where it's actually the least point. But uh, this is the final card from Temple Forces. Can we get another pointer here? Because that will secure the lead at least for them. But of course, keep in mind, uh, Ma Masquerade has one one uh one one pack as well left. Of course, uh, we have a code for you guys. On to the front. Let's do this. Press a like for luck. At least for this set. Steel basic. We have the Mayana, Mayina, um, and then we have the dual, dual shun, shish, whatever. Hunter, yes. It looks like you got caught doing something. What did you do? I didn't do crap. What are you talking about, Wills? Or maybe a Pikachu. That's actually kind of cute. That's actually adorable. We have the Explorers, a Guardian or a Guidance. Uh, iron, uh, iron hands. The future. Very cool. I, mean, I do like the the background. At least it changed up. You know, unlike a Yu-Gi-Oh. Sometimes it's always pretty consistent for the most part, which is good and bad. But it's nice to kind of vary it up a little bit from time to time. We have the Mori's Conviction. Reverse Hollow of the Bramble, Bramble Bin, I guess. Reverse Hollow of the Fenison and a Iron Thorn. Full futures. Hollow card only though. All right, let's see if we get any points for this. Wow, another low one. Only 15 cents. 15 times the disappointments. That means it only ends in one point, which means we need this one to get a point to win or else we'll end up in a tie. My first ever tie in this channel. And of course, it had to be Pokemon to tie it. All right, final cool for you guys. Enjoy. Now let me know what you get in the online TCG. All right, we got the darkness energy. The uh, Illuminous, Illuminous, whatever. The um, Applet. The Nose Pass. The Sunkern. The Festival Grounds. Uh, the Forges. The Belly Bolt. We have the Reverse Hollow of Arados. Reverse Hollow of Aeron. And a Hollow Heat Ran. Probably no points either. 
Wow. Wow, guys. Ending on a whimper, only 14 cents. Worse than the 15 times the disappointments. But yeah, guys, wow. My first ever tie. Anticlimactic, I know, but obviously this was a gift from you guys. Just, you know, let me open some Pokemon cards in this channel. While, uh, you know, I, I normally don't open the Pokemon cards, but it's always fun to open some, especially if it's like more of the special sets like the Palagian Fates or Paldean Fates or the Pokemon 151. So those are like two of my favorites, but I kind of already pulled the best cards or the, the cards at least that I wanted from those two sets. But I do have an idea to kind of bring back Pokemon besides the future expansions. Cause I think like I said before, there's fu there's uh, future cards coming out. So uh, it looks like in August 2nd, it's gonna be a new one called Strated Fable that's coming out. Um, and there's one coming out in September 13, uh, Stella Crowns. And one in November as well. Uh, doesn't have a name for that one yet. And that will be the last three or so sets from Pokemon. So I'll, I'll still get a chance to maybe open up those in the future if you guys want me to. And I'll definitely try to do more verses with Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Um, but there's not a lot of sets I can think of that might be good for verses with Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon besides the usual prospects, as I mentioned, the 151s and the Penalty of Fates or any of those. But um, let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what verse will be kind of suitable for Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh! or even Pokemon versus Pokemon. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Love you guys so much. Definitely check out the affiliate link down below. It helps support the show. And of course, if you guys want to send me anything to my PO box, I do have that address as well. And thank you to those who did do that. Now, the next video is going to be very, very much interesting. I do have these two right here, at least from the Yu-Gi-Oh side of this. But can you tell the difference between these two sets? And why I'm a little disappointed, a little bit angry, a little bit frustrated of why I got those instead of what I really wanted. Definitely subscribe here if you guys want to see that particular verses. But of course, if you guys want to see more Pokemon related stuff, definitely check out the video right here below me. This of course was the verse I did of Paldean's Fates with a good friend of mine known as Barbie Bex 05. But love you guys, my name is Taos, and I'll definitely see you next time.